Hi guys, good afternoon this time. Um, so I ha I took a little hiatus from doing the Nehemiah Bible study. Sorry, I just, I needed to take a week off. Last week I was incredibly overstimulated from all the change happening in my life. It's good change, but you know, um, change can still be challenging sometimes. But I'm back. And we're on Nehemiah 11. Now I'm not going to read the entire chapter because a lot of Nehemiah 11 is a list of names. But I'll, I want to read some key strategic places and then talk about it. So, Nehemiah 11. Okay. Now the leaders of the people settled in Jerusalem and the rest of the people cast lots to bring out to bring one out of every ten to live in Jerusalem, the holy city, while remaining while the remaining nine were to stay in their own towns. The people commended all the men who volunteered to live in Jerusalem. These are the pro, 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 bleh, these are the provincial leaders who settled in Jerusalem. Now this is where the list of names goes. But what I want to highlight is that, excuse me, I have a catch in my throat. <coughs> the reason why is it's, it really has been about a week since I've even talked. So <laughs> my voice is like, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway, here we go. So what I want to make note of is that the lists are um, the groups of the priests, the Levites, and the gatekeepers. Um, so that's just to make the note of that. Um, and then, it, so after it goes through the list, it says the rest of the Israelites with the priests and Levites were in the towns of Judah, each on his ancestral property. The temple servants lived in the hill of Ophel. The chief officers of the Levites in Jerusalem was, uh, Uzi son of Bani, the son of, okay, so other names. Um, the singers were under the king's orders, which regulated their daily activity. As for the villages with their fields, some of the people lived in Kareth and its surrounding settlements. So they, so where they, so they were living all the way from Beersheba to the valley of Hinnom. The descendants of Okay, so this basically like is mapping out where they lived in different cities. So, <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm doing kind of like a choppy job of reading um, this chapter, but there is just a lot of names and cities that I don't pronounce well. So, I, you know, I want to do it justice. Um, anyway, uh, the, the main point is that they were bringing people in so so the the walls were built the city was rebuilt and now they are bringing order now they are bringing in you know it's kind of like this abandoned place is now being restored and people are moving in and what i love about this chapter is it gives such um a it gives such an an uh an idea of what order looks like um, that everyone has their role. You know, there's the priests, there's the Levites, and the gatekeepers. The priests, of course, are responsible for the spiritual well-being of everyone. The Levites are responsible for worship and just creating an atmosphere of worship in the temple. Um, and basically, like, the, the Levites um, were, were essentially evangelists. You know, they went out into the community. Their job was largely outside of the temple bringing people in and leading people in worship um and then the gatekeepers of course are the protection the people who are overseeing everything making sure that people are safe you could liken them to like police i guess um but but they had much more of a spiritual prayerful take on being it wasn't a worldly position it was it was a spiritual position um and so to me, what this shows is anything that you want to do in your life, 
um, where you want to have leadership and order, uh, whether it's in your own household, your ministry, your business, all of the above, your own personal life, there are roles um, for that order, you know? And I, I think that it's just pointing to the fact that we all need a priest, which is Jesus, the high priest now for us. We all need a Levite, which is worship. And we all need protection, which is the gatekeepers. So that's the insight that I gathered from Nehemiah 11. And I'll be back for Nehemiah 12, hopefully tomorrow, but definitely soon. Thanks for watching.